Hello, I'm U.S. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, and I am so glad I get to help you celebrate Reading Week. I'm named after my grandmother, Catherine, who was a great reader. And I remember going to her house and seeing the huge wall of books she had there, and she every so often would give me and my sister a book to read, uh, and she'd inscribe it uh, from your grandmother. So I am so excited to be able to share uh, Reading Week with all of you and share with you one of my favorite books. So let's get started. This book, it's called May Among the Stars. Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreams never succeed, but Little May was different. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? She said, I will tell them I want to see Earth. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, and the mountains, we actually live on Earth. I know, said May, but I want to see Earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. The way you can see Earth from space is becoming an astronaut. An astronaut? Do you think I could do that, Mom? Of course you can. If you can dream it, her mother said, if you believe it and work hard for it, anything is possible. May asked her mom to take her to the library. She searched for books about space and about astronauts. After dinner, May drew pictures of space, and she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It just seems impossible. Well, you will find a way, May, because if you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, Anything is possible. But space is so far away, she said. Well, it's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think, her father told her. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see Earth floating and turning like a shining crystal ball. The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone about it, and every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we are going to share our dreams about the future, Miss Bell said. What do you want to be, and what do you want to do when you grow up? Now, who wants to go first? Well, I want to be a firefighter, said one of the boys. And I want to be a teacher, said one of the girls. I want to be a football player. Well, I want to be a mom. Well, I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut. All the kids started laughing. Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. I don't want to be a nurse, she said. I want to be an astronaut.
May felt very disappointed, and on her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. At home, May had started crying. Miss Bell said I can't be an astronaut. Well, what a silly thing to say, said her mother. She told me that I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Well, uh, of course I believed her. She's my teacher. Well, I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, and go to space. Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, May, she said, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard for it, anything is possible. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. Now, what I just read to you about May is a true story. Let me tell you what happened to May. May Carol Jemison was born October 7, 1956 in Decatur, Alabama. She always loved science and she loved being outside and looking up at the stars, knowing that one day she would travel to space. May is highly educated. She graduated from Morgan Park High School in 1973, and at the incredible age of 16, she enrolled at Stanford University, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering in 1977. After May got her MD in 1981 from Cornell Medical School, she briefly worked as a general practitioner before leaving to work with the Peace Corps as a medical officer in Liberia and Sierra Leone. When she returned home, May decided to follow her childhood dream of going to space, and she accomplished many firsts. She applied to NASA's astronaut training program, and on June 4, 1987, she was accepted. She became the first African-American female astronaut. On September 12, 1992, May's dream finally came true when she traveled to space on the shuttle Endeavour. It was then that May officially became the first African-American woman in space. May left NASA in 1993 and became the first real astronaut to act in an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. And today, she heads the Jemison Group and the Dorothy Jemison Foundation for Excellence. By the way, May also is fluent in Russian, Japanese, and Swahili. So remember, if you think it, believe it, and work hard, you can become it. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to share one of my favorite books with all of you.